In Ohio's largest corruption scandal, co-defendant Larry Householder took the stand today in federal court to tell his side of the story. Householder is facing up to 20 years in prison for racketeering. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. I'm Jennifer Bullock. He just wrapped up day one of his testimony less than 30 minutes ago. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami has been in the courtroom, joins us live now from Cincinnati to tell us what she heard. Natalie? Like you said, former Speaker Larry Householder is accused of racketeering at a play to pay deal where he allegedly took half a million dollars to pass first energy bailout legislation. Now, no cameras or phones are allowed inside the courtroom, so you won't be able to see or hear the former speaker's testimony. But I can tell you the defense delved into Householder's relationship with first energy players and his fellow lawmakers at the time. Notably, Householder says he did not dine with any first energy executives during his trip to Washington and January 2017, where much of the pay to play talks allegedly happened. Householder did say he received a $400,000 check in October 2018, but told the jury he did not want to schedule that meeting and said no passage of legislation was promised at that meeting. But when Householder was ultimately elected Speaker of the House months later, he texted then First Energy CEO, thank you for everything. It was historical. Householder says he sent that message to everyone who voted for him and everyone who contributed to his campaign. Householder also said he did not threaten anyone to vote for House Bill 6, but did emphasize to representatives the importance of passing it as a piece of priority legislation. And Natalie, you did say that this is, of course, day one of Householder's testimony. So with that in mind, what are we expecting to see for the rest of the week? Householders defense say they have about an hour left of direct questioning for householders. So we'll see that tomorrow morning. Then Matt Borges's defense and Matt Borges is former GOP chairman for Ohio. will have a chance to question householder. And then after that, finally, the prosecution will have their chance for cross examination and walking into the courtroom this morning. Householder did say it will be a great day, enthusiastic to tell his side of the story. So we'll get at least one more day of that still unclear if it will go into Friday.